In this tutorial, we'll look at how we can install the IntelliJ IDEA IDE for our Java programming. So what we need to do is to search for it in our browser. We click on the download. And when the download page loads, um, you have two editions which you can use. If you have the registration details, you can use the ultimate edition. If otherwise, you go for the community edition. Um, depending on your operating system, you download the type based on your operating system. I will download the ultimate edition because I have the registration details. And I will not download it again because it's already been downloaded. So I will just go through the installation process and we start our Java codes. So you double click on it, click on next, next, um, depending on what you want, you can decide to create a shortcut based on your windows, whichever bit you are using. So I will select the 64 bit, next, and you wait for it to install. So when it's done, I run it, you accept, continue. So my IntelliJ idea is installed properly. All I need to do now is create a new Java project. I will not select any library. I click on next. Click on next. So I give the project name tutorial and the directory location to Java Basics. Click on finish. Once it loads, I right click on the source folder and select new. So I want to create a new package and let me call it. From that basics and I right click on the new package and I want a new Java class so I'll call it first Java code and click on OK. All I need to do is to go inside and write my main method and there is a shortcut you can use PSVM with the tab key. It writes the main method for me and I just print out so you can use another shortcut to print it out and I will write welcome to Java. So all we need to do now is to click on the run to run our codes, we run as my first Java codes, and we can see the message print out Welcome to Java. When you write your first codes on IntelliJ, you may not see the run button here until you have run it. So, after running it now, we can see the run button is showing. We can also run it from this part as well. So that is it for this tutorial. The next video would be on variables and how they can be declared in Java.